Mr. President, this is my last opportunity as the Foreign Minister of Indonesia to represent my country to speak before the UNGA. A decade of so many challenges, but at the same time, a decade of Indonesia many contributions in addressing global issues. One of them is Palestine. Indonesia cannot, I repeat, cannot sit back and relax seeing the injustice that continues to be committed against the people of Palestine. Indonesia is and will always stand with the people of Palestine to attain their right to have an independent state of Palestine. As I speak now, more than 41,000 people in Gaza have been killed. Situation in West Bank, Lebanon are deteriorating. Is that, is, is that not enough? Is that not enough? Will the Security Council only take action to stop Israel atrocities when all Palestinians are displaced? Or when 100,000 Palestinians are killed? Or when a regional armed conflict breaks out? That will be too late. PM Netanyahu yesterday mentioned, and I quote, that Israel seeks peace, that Israel yearn for peace. Really? How are we supposed to believe that statement? Yesterday, while he was here, Israel conducted unprecedented massive air attack on Beirut. PM Netanyahu wants the war to continue. We must stop that. I repeat, we must stop that. We must pressure Israel to come back to a political solution for two-state solution. <laughs> Mr. President, the overwhelming majority of the UN members strongly support the two-state solution, and this is the right time to walk the talk. Recognizing the state of Palestine is the least that we can do now to give Palestinian equal footing on the world states and to exert pressure to Israel to stop their atrocities. Therefore, I urge countries that have yet to recognize the state of Palestine to do so now. If every each of us does it, for sure it will give impact. The recognition of Palestine today is an investment that will yield a more peaceful, just, and human world tomorrow. Once again, Indonesia urged the permanent members of the Security Council to concretely act to immediately stop Israel from blatantly violating international law and to end Israel impunity. The mandate of the Security Council is to maintain peace to create peace, not to maintain and prolong wars, or even worse, to support the perpetrator of atrocities. Inaction means complicity. Download Tribune X sekarang, menghadirkan lokal menjadi Indonesia.